see, I have ended up in prison again. Almost a seven hour sentence. Don't think I'll be sticking around for that. So, what better thing to do than to turn this into a learning experience and uh, update the escape tutorial. Sounds like a plan to me and who knows, there's always some, some fun to be had whenever you're uh, doing the prison escape. Uh, this particular time I have no one waiting for me, so that makes it even more interesting. I've had some uh, some pretty fun run-ins after I've escaped before with no one waiting on me. Uh, sometimes I can actually make it all the way to the aid shelter. Um, and that forces bounty hunters to come inside and sometimes you can get them with a takedown. I've actually been successful with that before so that, that kind of makes things really interesting when you can get that far. But um, sometimes you come out and get shot right in the face, so it just really depends. Depends on what kind of day you're having. And I uh, thought I heard something flying overhead that was kind of interesting. Always be careful with this part. You can sometimes get lucky and fall all the way down, but I always try to hit these platforms on the way down. I missed that one there, but lucky I caught the one right next to it. Did you hear that? It's like a, it sounded like a rocket or a overhead. Ooh, somebody had some misfortune. Yeah, it sounded like a rocket overhead or a ship flying by. I don't know what's going on out there. This is a new server I'm on, so I, I don't know. Sometimes you can get the lay of the land on the uh, global chat. You can kind of see what's going on, see where people are at. But uh, I spawned into prison with no head, so I had to uh, re-log to get my head back. So far, so good, though. Of course, this is the easy part. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely hearing things up there. Something is going on upstairs. Somebody's getting shot at, or... Doing some shooting. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty terrifying. Well, it'll either kill me or benefit me, or maybe it'll be interesting. Oh my God, what is that? Freaking me out. very rhythmic, it's very regular. I don't know what the hell that could be. It sounds like rockets, or uh, missiles. Yeet. guys get to this part, don't jump too quick, you will go right into that hole. What in the hell even hurt me there? I'm getting too cocky through this. I've fallen right there so many times. This little thing right here too, like this little side jump so easy to overshoot it. Alright, getting to the long jumps. Of uh every every part of this whole this whole thing. I have fallen at one point or another and had to start over. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've been through this cave. I haven't heard any of those missiles anymore. I wonder what that was all about. It's interesting. Makes me wonder if somebody's uh, 
having a fight up there or someone's trying to approach and it's cluster firing them I don't I don't know what it is you yeah. It is again. That is freaky. Never know what you're gonna get when you pop on the outside of this place. Fortunately, we're almost there. Oh, yeah. It's very regular. I think Clusher's shooting at something. And those missiles hurt. I wonder if uh, Security Post Korea is going to get anything like that. I'm, I'm sure they're going to redo the defenses of the whole thing. Those uh, orbital sentries around Korea don't even work right now. That, those things used to hurt pretty bad too. What is going on out there? Freaking me out, man. Okay. These tripwires, I'd try not to even chance it. Just use the wall to stop from overshooting. Get on this box and just... It's such a funny little thing they added there, but God, that thing can really ruin your day. And there's the codes if you haven't... Uh, Seen those before? Taking a screenshot in case I need to, in case I can't remember it. I've definitely gotten up there before and been like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll remember that. And by the time I get up there, I'm just like, nope. All right, we are about to figure out what in the world these sounds outside are. Alright, here we go. Alright. Careful coming down these stairs. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh. And these stairs. Oh yeah. Something going on up there. Yeah, watch that. I almost, I almost fell there. That was close. I almost pulled a wolf. Wolf Terra, you know who you are. I find it's easiest to jump early on those. Like, don't wait till the last step. Jump on like, jump on the, the second to last step. That way you're jumping a little early. Holy crap. They've been shooting at something for a very long time now. I say very long time. Uh, it's only been eight and a half minutes since I've looked at the terminal to see my prison time. So that that was a pretty good amount of time to uh, get through the prison the prison jump. Okay. Little concerned. Little intrigued. Wait to see what this is all about. I'm sure there's a ship over there. Yeah, that's Clusher losing its mind over something. I think those are size five torps that it's shooting. I think those are scimitars because I've been I have been absolutely annihilated by those things. Oh no! Tell me this thing's gonna work. Okay, okay, there it goes. Perfect. Sometimes you'll get so far to only to. Have Star Citizen throw something at you that you can't get around. Okay. We've got a Nursa. About to find out what in the world is going on outside. Oh my gosh. Okay. Going to not hit my lights because I don't know. Okay, there's something over there. Okay, it's an A2. I don't, I don't 
don't know if this A2 is here to, uh, I don't know if he has my bounty. Of course, he could just fly over and drop a bomb if he did. So that's a little interesting. Uh, he could be over here waiting on someone else. I saw that other body in the, uh, the caverns down there. So maybe this A2 is either waiting for someone else to escape, or maybe someone else got out before me. You know, I, I don't know. I do not know, but I am going to find out in one way or another. There will be um, one way or another. Um, gotta figure out what's going on with this A2. So they're either going to uh, help me, kill me, or uh, well, I guess that's I guess that's really the only options. If the ramp is down, I'm driving this Ursa directly into their ship. No questions asked. Like, I will go right up on in there. If they come out into the vehicle bay uh, not expecting me, then I can use the remote turret to take them out. If, uh, if they're cool, then hey, you know, got me right out of here. I have no idea. All I know is Clusher is very pissed at him, and to be fair, they could easily kill me right now if they dropped a bomb. Assuming they have my bounty. They wouldn't be able to detect my Ursa this far out, though. The only way they really know I'm coming is if they have my bounty selected. That would be some funny shit if uh, if I showed up and another Ursa was trying to get up in there and I just kind of came plowing through, crashing into the end of the hangar bay and I don't know how this is going to turn out but I, the suspense is killing me. Looks like all I gotta do is follow the missiles. I feel like they toned down some of the rocks on Aberdeen. Or maybe it's just because I spent a little more time driving on Hurston recently. Oh, yeah, as I say that. Hurston can be a nightmare to drive on. Uh, There's just so, the way some of the rocks are laid out. But I feel like Aberdeen used to be a little more like, uh, okay, I'll shut my hole. See, it was going pretty smoothly, and then I started talking about it, and now I'm practically summoning the rocks. It's like I'm praying to Murphy. sounded a little different. Maybe I'm just getting closer? I don't know. I'm trying to kind of come around the back side here. I don't necessarily want to offer any... Ooh. I don't want to offer any easy visual cues. You gotta be about four to five hundred meters. Oh, he's getting hit. Shit. You gotta be within about four or five hundred meters uh, in the Ursa for the ship to detect you. Of course, they probably would see me now. Oh man. Okay, he's firing flares and the ramp's coming down. I'm going for it. I have no idea who this is, but hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with the ramp. Okay, all right, we are in here. Okay, I'm in a complete stranger's A2. He's launching flares, 
and he's getting the hell out. All right, I can get on board with that. No pun intended. Okay. Who is my host? I am extremely interested. I'm also a little weary on getting out of the Ursa. Not only is there a lot of G-Force going on right now, but, uh, yeah, I don't want to get shot. <laughs> wow, what a, what a random, I mean, that, see, you just never really can predict what's going to happen in Star Citizen. I mean, that, who would have thought there would have just been a, an A2 out here? Okay. This guy's, uh, this guy's cool. He's... <laughs> Had a brain fart trying to talk and type and... Man. Well, Star Citizen, you never cease to amaze me with the possibilities. Oops. Guess he's gonna take me to Hex or something. That's that's pretty dope. Hell yeah. I didn't expect to have any way out of there. Oh shit! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh man, that would have been shit. Yeah, he's over here talking about, uh, he's just kind of camping, like, so, he, it, it's, it's kind of funny how that worked out. He just, he was just like, screw it, I'm hanging out in the area, see who shows up. And as I'm escaping, I'm just like, screw it, I'm just going to escape and see how it goes. <laughs> and uh, this, was the, this was the result. That's pretty cool. That's what keeps me coming back in this game, though. You never know what you're going to get. No two play sessions are ever really alike. But uh hope you enjoyed watching my... Uh, my experience here and uh, hope you have some good experiences in the verse yourself thanks for watching